This is Proverbs 3 and 11. My son, despise not the chastening of Yahweh, neither be weary of his caressing. For whom Yahweh loveth, he correcteth, even as a father, the son in whom he delighteth. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Basham, Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. Salutation to you, Akim, pushing his word with truth, sincerity, with charity, presenting yourself as a uh, living sacrifice. We who are ready to live, salute you. So I just want to go into um, a lesson. It's going to be based on this song by uh, Betty Wright called No Pain, No Gain, right? And uh, basically this song she's singing about, you know, how, mu how much she loves her man, or her husband, you know, and um, how much she, um, basically that she understands that, you know, every day with him is not going to be all peaches and cream and roses, but she's basically in it to win it. She's in it for a long haul. She's basically not, the song is, she's basically, uh, the song is basically, she's uh, saying in so many words that no matter how bad it gets, she's willing to stick it out. And that's the mindset we have to be with our husband, because as the scripture says, hold on, let me get another scripture. This is uh, Isaiah 54 and 5. For thy maker is thine husband. Yahweh power of hosts is his name. Thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, the power of the whole earth shall be called, shall he be called. For Yahweh have called thee a woman forsaken and grieved in spirit and a wife of youth when thou was refused, saith Yahweh, right? So Yahweh is our husband, right? And, um, you know, as a wife, we have to really, uh, we have to be willing to, uh, to endure chastening. All right. Matter of fact, let me grab that. This is Second Timothy 2 and 3. Thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shahab Mashiach. No man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him whom have chosen him to be a soldier. So... We have to, uh, you know, gird up, you know, and um, and, and feign not, man. All right. This is First Corinthians eleven and thirty-one. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of Yahweh, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. Yeah. So, yeah, we're, we're being chastened so we don't have to get destroyed with everybody else, man. You know? Um, and we can't be offended at that. Um, you know? All right. This is Matthew 13 and 20. But he that receiveth the seed into stony places... The same as he that heareth the word, and anon with joy receiveth it, yet hath he not root in himself, but dureth for a while. For when tribulation or persecution ariseth because of the word, by and by he is offended. All right? So, amen. When it's chastening comes, man, some guys are going to get offended, man. All right, and they're going to depart, man. Um, this is First Timothy 4 and 1. Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. Right? Okay? So, hey, man, a lot of guys, they're going to depart, you know? You know, for many reasons, you know, uh, I'm just I'm pretty much just accenting one of them being uh, the uh, chastening that you receive in the truth, man. You know, 
the chastening that you're going to receive could cause and will cause certain men to uh, to fall away. All right. Right, and uh, well, this is uh, 1 Corinthians 15 and 58. Therefore, be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of, of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. All right, so we have to be steadfast and unmovable. All right. Which um, you know, just like the the uh, the woman, you know that uh, song by Betty Wright. Basically, uh, she was saying, you know, she understood, you know, no pain, no gain. You know, no no uh, marriage is gonna come without pain. Okay. And uh, and it doesn't, and and no um, marriage comes without work. That's why the scripture says in the book of Proverbs, every wise woman buildeth a house, but the foolish plucketh it down with their hands, man. So we got to be that wise uh, woman, man. You know, uh, I'm thinking about the, the parables of the uh, ten virgins. Five was wise, five was foolish, man. The wise woman is going to cleave on to her husband, man, and, and uh, do the things that's pleasing. All right. But the foolish, you know, <clears throat> you know, foolish, they're going to find a reason to depart, man. You know, something's going to trick, something's going to shake them because, uh, as the scripture says, uh, Satan um, divide, desire, desire to sift you. I believe that was the Lord speaking to Peter, man. You know, it said, but I praise you that your faith fail not, man. Uh, and when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. So, you know, sifting, that's that inward agitation, man, that we're going to go through in this truth, man. We're going to be um, chastened, tested, all those things. But are we going to... Uh, uh, but it, you not you cannot let that uh, allow you to be offended into uh, to the point where you're you you uh, you want to depart. All right, because if you depart from your husband, you basically you 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 committed suicide, man. You know you've taken away that hedge, man. As the scripture says, he that breaketh the hedge, a serpent shall bite him, man. All right, so without your husband, without your covering, you're naked. You're out there to the elements, you know. That's why Scripture says, uh, let me grab this one. This is uh, Ecclesiastes 10 and 4. If the spirit of the ruler rise up against thee, leave not thy place for yielding pacified great offenses. Right. So if the king get up and smack you in your shit, hey, you still his princess. He smacked you in your shit. <laughs> you know, you're going to be ashamed for a little while, probably not show your face for a minute. You know, but after the while, you know, it, it, there's reconciling, you know. You know, you don't just get up and leave the king because he smacked you, man. And you start packing your bags. I'm getting up out of here. Where are you going to go? You're a fugitive at this point. You know, you leave your husband according to the law. You, you you try to go marry another man, you're gonna get put to death, man. All right. So hey, man, we gotta have that mindset, just like uh, that woman in this song, man. You know, we're married onto Yahweh by Shimi Shai, and, and uh, like I'm reading right now, if the spirit of the ruler rises up against you, he snap on you, he smack you on your shit. You still gotta do your job, man. As a wife, you still got to make dinner. You still got to fix the table. You still got to do what the hell you was doing before he rose up and hit you in your shit, man. Okay. Lest the worst thing come upon you, you know. But this is a little lesson I wanted to do. Um, hope there's some edification within it. Um, 
yeah, I was about to say uh, Shalom.